Nolan Alexander here today with Joe Jackson, catcher for the Bourne Braves from the Citadel. Joe, through your college days, I know you heard about the Cape League, and you've been up here for about half a summer. Has it been everything that you imagined it would be? Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, competition's great. Um, the thing I like the most about it actually is the weather. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not too hot up here. It's blazing in South Carolina. So um, it's a good break from that, but yeah, it's everything I or expected it to be. Did you bring a sweatshirt up here? Yeah, I brought a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say would be the biggest difference in the playing level from back at the Citadel to up on the Cape? Um, consistency. Every day you see a great arm. Um, some days you see guys that are throwing 85 every day. Here you see guys that are throwing 90 and 93. Um, it's probably just the consistency of the players and the hitters. Are, uh, every hitter is great. So, How would you say that you've grown up here at the summer? Yeah, um, I've... My, my uh, attitude toward the game has probably changed a little bit. Um, it's tough, and you got to learn how to cope with it. Um, my mentality's changed a little bit, and, uh, you know, I, I'm not used to struggling at the plate, and that's uh, something you got to get through and um, just keep working hard. Your numbers seem to improve here. You got to a bit of a rough start, but you seem to be clicking here at the plate. Do you seem more comfortable up there? Yeah, I feel a lot more comfortable. Um, I'm starting to see the ball better, and uh, my swing just feels a little shorter now. Um, it was really long mm -hmm. at the, the get-go, and uh, just been working every day on it, and it's finally starting to click. Talk about your approach at the plate. Yeah, nice opposite field double the other yeah, day. Yeah, um, I try to I try to sit oppo early in the count. Um, a lot of guys like to attack outside and mm -hmm. come in late. Um, you know, they pitch a little different up here, though. Uh, <laughs> They don't throw change-ups and advantage counts as much because of the wood bats. They try to get out on your hands a little bit, and uh, it's just something you got to adjust to. Um, I mean, at school, you see a lot more off-speed after the first strike. Up here, you see a lot of fastballs, so it's just getting used to. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your play behind the plate defensively. How would you say that you've done this season? I've done pretty well. Um, that, that's one thing that's keeping me uh, real mellow. <laughs> um, and. Uh, I feel like I've caught pretty well. My throws have been okay, but um, overall, like calling the game and as far as like blocking balls up, saving runs, stuff like that, getting pitchers through games, um, I'd, I'd say I feel pretty good about it. One of two catchers on this Braves roster, along with Austin Wins of Fresno State, describe the relationship between you two guys. Uh, you know, I only met Austin last week, but we get along great. Um, we all we work with each other, we throw at each other. Uh, we need, if one of us needs to work on something, we'll help each other with it. Uh, we kind of stick together. Uh, Catchers usually stick together a little <laughs> more than uh, other players. Um, but we get along fine, and Austin's a great uh, catcher as well, and uh, we enjoy splitting time with each other. You two, along with the rest of your teammates, got to work out at Fenway Park this week. Where does that rank in your baseball experiences? It, it's up there in the top three. <laughs> um, that was awesome. Um, I, as a Red Sox fan from South Carolina, I've, this is the first time I've ever been to Fenway as well. So. Uh, it was pretty neat to be on the field and just taking bat and practice there. I didn't really care how I did, to be honest. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was just happy to be there, but uh, it was a great experience, and um, hopefully they continue doing that in the future. What do you think is more intimidating, the green monster or kind of the deep area out in the right field? Probably the deep area in the right field. <laughs> 380s, and that's not a short porch. So. <laughs> sure. And uh, as it's well stated up here in Bourne, you're the great, great, great nephew, correct, mm -hmm. yes. of Shoeless Joe Jackson. When you were at Fenway yesterday, did it ever cross your mind that I may be hitting in one of the same spots that my relative did? Yes, it did, actually. Um, Joe actually played there, and uh, he actually won a throwing contest there back in 1917. Um, yeah, I think he threw a ball 396 feet in the air. Yeah. Um, so they used to have throwing contests <laughs> back then, and he, he won one there, and he he also played there as well as it was about 1912, so he, he played a few games there, which is pretty cool. Have you tried to top the 396 foot mark? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's, that's a long way. So is this done with the other players in front of fans or just kind of off the wall thing? Um, it was it was done with other players in front of fans. I believe they were having a, uh, it was like some kind of benefit game, and they had a bunch of uh, good players at the time come wow. in and play the Red Sox, and that was one of the events they had. It's pretty interesting. And it's been told that your family still has a World Series ring mm -hmm. between yep. you and your dad. How often do you bring that out? Uh, we actually wear it. We wear it a good bit. Um, okay. There's a lot of there's a lot of community events in Greenville involving Shoeless Joe and the museum that's there and the family. We always go, and uh, w when that happens, I always, me or my dad, always wears the ring. So uh, it's pretty cool. People love to see it, and everybody always just they say thanks for bringing it out <laughs> and uh, showing everybody. So. Is it going to make its way to the Cape this summer? Uh, yes, it should. Right. My, my dad's right. coming up uh, the, 
last week of July, my whole family will be up. So um, hopefully he'll wear it. And uh, I know a lot of these people would like to see it out here. So I'll, I'll ask him to bring it. Should be a great time, Joe. Good luck yep. the rest of the way. Thanks Thank for joining you. us today. Thank you. It's Joe Jackson of the Boren Braves, a catcher at the Citadel. And until next time, I'm Nolan Alexander.